Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. The tarot card for today is the Hierophant, and this one comes to us from a recently released deck called Tarot of the Owls by artist Elizabeth Alba, and you probably remember her from the Everyday Witch Tarot. This is just as nice of a deck as the Witch Tarot. There is so much to talk about today that it's almost like difficult sometimes to know where to begin. So first we'll say the moon is moving into Taurus early in the day where we will have on the 19th a new moon at 28 degrees Taurus. The Hierophant card is associated with the sign of Taurus. And of course the sun, Mercury, and Jupiter are also there. So does anyone else think we have some Taurus themes going on today? Quite possibly. We start the day with what was our Aries moon um, squaring with Mars in Cancer. People can get emotional and cranky around the time of this one, but if used properly, there is a passionate drive which is available here to get things done. On to all of the Taurus stuff, and I have a biggie coming up at the end, so don't miss that part. All right, the moon is going to conjunct Jupiter, which, as I said, just moved into Taurus. So, zero degrees. Hmm, something is afoot. Dare I say many of you might be in a better mood than usual. The moon will square Pluto. This is a tough one. Pluto, like, digs deep. Things are buried. Secrets, you know. The moon is all about emotions and feelings. This could become a little destructive, all right? Um, You might say, kind of remember when you say stuff, you can't take it back, all right, once the words come out of your mouth. So be very, very careful. It's not easy to suppress things. It's not always good to, but sometimes it can become, you know, a, a bit much when you just let it all fly, too. The good thing to remember is that these do not have a very long time span of influence, maybe a couple of hours. The moon will conjunct Mercury. And while I wouldn't sign anything, there might be some things that you've been wanting to talk to people about that you'll find you're able to do. The moon will sextile Saturn, and of course that brings, you know, a very responsible feeling, being able to adult, as we like to say. I mentioned a biggie. This one you can find on my calendar of planetary events. Jupiter at zero degrees Taurus will square Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius. And it's what is known as a signature aspect because it influences things for a very long time to come. And it doesn't, it isn't going to come around again until 2029. So, yeah. There's a lot here. All right, boy, that mm, sometimes just the, you know, you've got Jupiter wanting to expand things and Pluto wanting to transform them. There could be tension. There could be things which are just, you know, there's no telling what's going on here, to be honest. But, you know, ambition and desire and wanting to succeed they're all part of the equation, but everybody wants to be on top. <laughs> so it, it can be a little difficult to navigate at times, but boy, oh boy, yeah, there's that battle between expansion and control. Now on to the Hierophant card. You know, a lot of times when we see this card, we think of it as the status quo. Status quo is kind of like established the establishment, you know, the powers that be. But how do we feel about that, right? We've got this big old massive square between Jupiter and Pluto pushing us to expand our horizons, pushing us to transform, right? The hell with the status quo. It's like, what are you going to do? This is about changing and it's about breaking out of that norm you know do you break a few rules along the way hmm something's happening when i say something's afoot 
It could be anything. But I guarantee you, whatever it is, it will be eventful. It will lead to change. And the status quo is going to change. So this card today really is about that status quo and working to make it one that you want in your life so it brings you the success that you desire. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.